fellow, all, fellow, all of it, it is your boys, Dragon's Fury and Infernal. We found him this time. He's no longer in the void. Um, so, you, you know, if you if you missed him, he's back, and you, you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And we found the new button. Um, <laughs> so, there's that. This week is a double feature, so there will be two episodes. Uh, so, one, this one, and the other one being the one I recorded with Apollo on uh, plot armor that we did in the middle of the night because that's when he got off work. So, and I was dead. That was uh, I don't know. You were playing Minecraft actually, or maybe you were dead. I don't know. It was last night. Um, you were okay. To be fair, I don't know if you were alive or not. I just know that you were still in Discord. Now, if you were actively participating in said Discord, that is unknown to me. But you were still in Discord at the time when we were recording. To be fair, I might have been watching uh the was the Fate uh episode. Because mm. a new a new fate series is starting up and I am excited. I see. So we did an early on recommendation. If you are a fate fan of uh, series, we got a new anime to start. I didn't really like to start it. I'll probably just wait until it's done and we'll just speed through it. Because I got enough stuff I'm watching as is already. Yep, uh fate uh I think it was strange fake. Uh yes, strange fake. Uh the First episode aired on the second, and it was a special, pretty much leading into, I guess, the coming season. I had a look into it because I'm just like I, at least have to have some idea because I am like, this is completely different from Apocrypha, completely different from Stay Night. I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> All I know is like, our Goldie Boy Gilgamesh is here. <laughs> Goldie Boy, the asshole version, but that's yeah. that one. So, this is going to be part two of our lore down Hunter League. So, uh, we had somewhat of an idea of the formatting for the rest of this. We'll see how it goes. Because um, I realized I already fucked up. Yeah, sounds all right. Uh, obviously, we're going to do Varus. But then I was like, oh, let's just pick a couple regions that go together. Zon and Piltover. There are so many people who are listed as a part of those two. Yeah. And I'm like... Mm -hmm. There's a reason why last week I suggested that just pick a couple champions and then we'll go from there. I did. These are still my people take. My Yordles are in those two alone. Well, yeah, Yordles like to get around. They're little magic rats. Is it? They're magical bastards. But, like... Also, okay, so I wanted to, I picked all the people that I play, like, my main people, right? Like, the ones I got, like, high mastery on or, like, a bunch of skins for. That stole the Yordles, and it's, like, so that puts, it's Ziggs, Piney, Janna, and of late, oh, wait, no, Echo, and then of late, Warwick is there. A lot of Zon and Piltover in that list. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. The, just those people that I was playing, it's already Zon and Piltover. That's why I was like, okay, let's do that. But then it just keeps going. <laughs> you know, I, I'm now realizing whenever the MMO comes out, like, you have, you'll have you have to pick Zon or Piltover. I'm, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not doing either because it's going to be Bandle City. Because if it's done right, it's Bandle City. Where they choose to go after they leave home, I don't give a fuck. But they're from... Bandle City. Yeah, I, yeah, I birthplace I of am, magic. <laughs> I am. I'm still interested in hearing more about that MMO. Obviously, like we're we, with how little information we've gotten regarding the fighting game that Riot's working on. I really do not see any any info for the MMO coming out for another like five, ten years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's whatever anyway. I it's like I would man. like the fighting game to be really good, but the reality is they don't know what they're doing. So. Yeah, it's like, it's like I, I I'm looking forward to it just because like obviously it's lead characters, but at the same time, like my hopes are not that high because it's Riot. Yeah, same with me. Um, and then Israel, and then I I had a Jinx stint for a while. So yeah, there's there's just a bunch of Zon. You you've people. just been staying in that region until I jump ship entirely and then there's Samila there's, <laughs> there's Jin there's, Kiana there's Kiana oh it's all. um <laughs> yeah so it, it it's a lot but first first things first 
we need to get Varus taken care of. Continuation from last week. So, two gay dudes and a demon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, Jesus, where where the hell do we go from here? Um, it, it it's it's anywhere but up. Uh, so he obviously is my favorite Darkin. So you have I uh, I don't see a little bad for that Darkin because it's like normally Darkins get only one person to deal with, and this one got two. Yeah, but he's like he's got two, but he's got two that's like in line with him though. Like he. I feel like he's the one Darken that has hosts that are actually in line with what he was. So, like, he was a hunter, and he found mm. two other hunters. So, yeah, granted, they are not together in the same mental space, obviously. But, same concept, like... They have the affinity for the bow already. So it was, even if Varus wasn't a complete and utter jackass of a, you know, of a demon. <laughs> that likes they, to torment people. Yeah, like, they still would have had an affinity to each other. Like, they still would have ended up together no matter what, even, you know, like, whatever the circumstances are. Um, obviously, I go along with the uh, music video as the storyline because that is absolutely and utterly perfect in visualization um of them of the two guys you know one being mortally wounded getting drugged now the one thing i wish they did answer and i'm probably sure it's somewhere in all of this t words of stories because you have what is it you have heartlight and you have retribution and then you have like the regular bio and i'm pretty sure somewhere in those two explains why they went to where he was in that shrine in the bottom of the water um so I'm, i i don't i mean from versus like biography the two hunters were dealing with the noxian and the first wave of, of a noxian invasion in that part of the uh ionian area well, yeah, but that doesn't, again, that doesn't explain why they went in there specifically. That wasn't like a, hey, I'm taking cover. He knew exactly what he was doing when he threw him in the water. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that it could restore him. Yeah, so, like, what did, what was I about mean, that? I mean, yeah, everyone's, everyone's heard about the Fountain of Youth, you know, just throw someone in, they'll come back out perfectly healthy and all that, you know. Yeah, they kind of they kind of leave out the part of the, the demonic demon that's been sealed there. Yeah, like at, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. He's in the bottom. Yeah. So it looks like they do talk about something here in the comic for retribution of like what happens, um, and like why he you know jumped down the hole, and but that's besides the point. The real thing is the this is one. Of, at least for representation wise they gave us the most vivid and like reasonable interaction between the two where it's obviously it's like okay so you have the one who's like on death's door you have the one who's like desperate as shit and then you have the jackass who's inside and you have them fighting for it's not even control. It's just fighting for themselves. Because in the music video, you see them, like, they're getting basically broken down to, like, they're just essence of each other. And they're basically trying not to lose themselves. They're just trying oh, to well. maintain themselves, like, as themselves. They're not even trying to, like, fight him, per se. He's just like, ooh, hey, oh, new people. Oh, no, they, they, no, they are trying to fight him. <laughs> they're well, trying they're, to keep him. They're trying to keep him from doing his old uh d darkened thing of trying to destroy everything well yeah but that's that's after the fact that's the oh we realize who is actually here but before that this is just a straight fight of will to keep sense of self and making sure that you don't lose the person you went in this with and then the amalgamation of a body that comes out of it who doesn't wear pants 
he, I don't, <laughs> that's the one weird thing about the design, is that you have him having flesh and whatever, and then it just gets to weird, like, Air. corrupted bark-looking thing, I, I guess is, like, the best way, is, like, what the rest of his body is. I would like to think it's like that, um, that, oh God, what, what's that Pokemon? The Pokemon that basically, like, covers its body and hair. Um, it's a dark fairy type from Sword and Shield. Oh, you got me. Shh, don't give me mine. I, hell if I know. Uh, da 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 da. Sword and Shield, because I am not ever prepared. I like how I pulled up Arnakuno for some damn reason. Uh, Grim Snarl. Uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Just, oh, the hairy imp. Yeah. <laughs> um, who basically his entire body is just hair. And so, yeah, it is. It's it, it's a fun thing because it's like, obviously, like he built a new body with the two of them, um, and it's just kind of like, yep, broke them down and bound them together. And they're like, hey, we're all we're all together in this. Now. I'm just gonna take the best pieces of the two of you and make a new body. And make a new body. And we're all gonna be hanging out in here together. And also, now the reason why and it's completely personality based of why this isn't a fight for control and it's literally just prisoners, because of how sadistic Varus is. Because he's like, Oh look, I have two new people captured. And you guys are are well aware of what I'm about to try to do. And you gotta sit there and take it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and please fight, because it's all the better when you break. Uh, so that, is that how you would like to update his lore? Oh no, make that's it so what's that... happening. <laughs> oh no, according to his biography, they're actually all of them wrestling for control. Like, it's not just Varys completely in control, it's like Oh no, They're yeah, it says he's fighting each time, but he he is enjoying that because he has a voice line with Karma where he tells Karma, I turned two of your people into monsters, and he's happier than a motherfucker. He likes the fact that they're fighting him because that's his whole shtick. He wants them to be tortured, and what's the greater torture of someone fighting you with the idea that they possibly can win to ultimately lose? Yep, but and of course you have these two that are hoping that their love will prevail. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he. If anything, he's feeding off of it. <laughs> yeah, most likely, because dark can always feed off something. If you have something, whatever. Um, he's, and so he has a, apparently he has updated voice line with a uh, Nafari too about just go, just go show kids love doesn't conquer everything. <laughs> Don't go being a dick, but also. <laughs> 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 you gotta find that balance. <laughs> you gotta find the balance. But yeah, so it is definitely a uh, fun, fun thing for him because he's he's a he's saying. Also, he called a Aatrox out on the double A thing. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, he's like, does? brother, you know that's absurd. <laughs> oh Jesus! Like, like, what are you doing? Because like, obviously, Aatrox comes after him about like the memo thing. And he's like, you know that's absurd. Stop it. <laughs> Yo, a a Trox. a a Trox. Yo, a a Ron. <laughs> oh, God. But, so yeah, so that should cover, that, I think that's all of them. Yeah, because we talked about Kane, we talked about Varys, we talked about a Trox, and we have what little bit we want to do with Nefari. So that takes care of all the darkened people for now yeah. until uh, uh, Until they hopefully give us a darkened support, then we can have an entire darkened team. And it's going to be complete and utter trash. <laughs> uh, probably, yeah. Because let's see. Because we, currently we have Aatrox for the top lane, Nefiri soon for the mid lane, uh, Varus for the uh, ADC role, which has basically been Bot forgotten. Lane number two. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Brain Kane, Jungler. So yeah, we're, re yep. we're really just missing a support. We need a, a proper Darken support. Um, yeah, not not the. Uh, we don't need another Pike situation. It's like, oh, he's a support. No, he's not. No, he's not. When they anyone anyone who thinks that Pike is a support, please get yourself checked out because uh, he is not a support. Supports are supposed to help, and not help themselves. Yeah, no, freaking terrible. 
Um, he ha- I, ugh. But so, let's see here. Um, there are various champions I'm very salty about just because right, of how they're so badly played. Do we played. want to start at the top or do we want to start at the bottom? How, how do you. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Above ground, Piltover, or underground, Zon. Top or Got bottom? it. <laughs> okay, I got so confused there. I'm like. Like, how high are we going? Are we going to, like, uh, Aurelian Soul High, or... <laughs> well, actually, no, he's actually on the ground now because of Targon. Yeah. <laughs> Targon. Reasons. <laughs> and Targon's going to get blown up one of these days, honestly. I, when the crown breaks, that's when Targon gets blown up. At that point, Runeterra is going to get blown up. <laughs> Targon's just going to be the first one. Targon, yes. will, be, Targon <laughs> will be the final one, because he'll, he'll say... He'll show all of Targon's like, hey, this is going to happen to you very soon. Just uh, be patient. <laughs> all this is happening because of you. But if we're going to choose between... Uh, this works for your region as well. Uh, let's talk about Seraphine. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's so <laughs> uninteresting. It's an immediate response to Oh, like God. she's so she's so uninteresting. She doesn't add anything to yeah. anything outside of her just being a. What did they say she is officially? Like the official capacity of her. That she can basically hear the souls of people. That's basically like her power and stuff, and like her, her goal is to try to unite Zon and uh, Piltover. Yeah, because and and that was after the retcon of her being a murderer. Um. Or, okay, being well, not, a willing not participant of yeah. the murderer. <laughs> well, the the thing is, like, the crystal still houses the soul of one of Skarner's race. But now the soul is, like, A-okay with being used and everything. I'm just like, I don't like that. It's like... No, no, it's not A-okay with being... No, it's not. Yeah, Sorry, no. no. Because <laughs> it's, it's like, if... I, and uh, Seraphine has so much work. Like, one, modify her outfit just a bit to make her look more like she's from Piltover. Um, or add aspects of Zahn since she likes Zahn a lot because that's where her parents are from. Like, add that to her, like, outfit in some way so, like, she actually looks like she's from that area. I understand it's like, hey, Sparkle's Idol, all that stuff. But it's like, I feel like if you're trying to, like, like be kind of like this middleman or idol for the two regions you should try to look like it in a way i don't know like, yeah. is that just yeah. me but um well no like, like if you're supposed to be from the region look like you're from the region like, yeah um but it's like if they were to like update her lore again um i would i honestly wouldn't mind it if they made it so that she <laughs> basically is trying to like like the like the soul that's in the crystal is just pissed off as hell, and like she's trying to like work with it and like try to help it because she likes helping people. Yeah, but it's like it, his people—they're of a hive mind. There's no way in hell that it's not gonna be like, yeah, no, I'm still mad. I'm still mad at you. I might be mad yeah. at you less, but like I'm still mad. Like that's. It's like <laughs> it's like I appreciate that you were trying to do, do this, trying to help me out, but um. Your people suck. Mm -hmm. But you people suck. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Like, I really do feel like Seraphine's, like, whole, like, Shtick. thing. Shtick. Shtick, or just her entire character was butchered because, like, they were so focused on her KDA self yeah. that her Runeterra self came after. Which, which is stupid. not how you're supposed to build a champion. <laughs> stupid uh so then i guess the next logical jump you he, he wants to get away from seraphine as fast as possible yes i don't want she's, <laughs> she's terrible so we go from idol to the poster boy jace uh, oh right uh for some reason hymenator went to my head nah he's not the poster boy he hasn't been a boy for something 100 something years well no wait because he's like 500 hey yeah. yeah, short enough um, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that works at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 
Yeah, he's like 500 something or whatever. I mean, fair I, enough. He has one hell of a mustache. He does have one hell of a mustache. Um, also, I, I need to see if I can find that page again because someone did do like the deep dive of, of everything, of everybody, of, or at least of the Yordles, of what their estimated ages are. Oh, Jesus. Obviously, Poppy being the oldest. Um, I keep forgetting that she's the oldest. Um, and depending on how you view time, technically, Nar, but like, I'm going to do it with him frozen. Him <laughs> being frozen doesn't age him. So. I mean, if we're just going by years being around and not just like out and about, then yeah, it would be Nar. Um, but out and about, then Poppy. So yeah, so Poppy, yeah, Poppy is fine because she's she's seen so many. <laughs> Who, who's the youngest then? Uh, Kinnon. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and only by a little bit. And it's uh, Ziggs would be next. That also makes sense. <laughs> um, so. Uh, no, no, I forgot. Vex. Vex is the youngest. Mm. Yeah, because she's currently in her emo phase. Um, yeah, she's... Yeah, the, the emo phase, but she definitely still has the mentality that that of a teenager. So it's Vex. And then Kinnon. Yeah. And then, depending on if you believe Amumu is a Yordle or not, he fits somewhere up in the oldies as well. But, I mean, I would assume he's a Yordle. Just, um, just a, a mummo, just, <laughs> just a mum, mummified Yordle. I mean, if they ever rework him, yeah, he's a Yordle to me because everything else fits. But like Riot specifically said that they kept him ambiguous on purpose so that no one knows what he was. If he was just a regular person, or that they basically left it open to the, the possibility of being yes, open to interpretation. Been, he could have been a Yordle that everyone saw because of the glamour as this and then blah 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 etc whatever so yeah and of course fizz was confirmed to be a yordle oh yeah fit obviously like i don't know why there was confusion on that one <laughs> uh because i just saw a fish person oh yeah he's a little fish flop flop but like he's a fish flop flop that's been around for a bit <laughs> like even if a science don't live that long uh the science live the Saiyans do live for a good while. Well, it depends on which the Saiyan tribe you're from. But yeah. Uh, so actually, back to the question, Jace. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, Mister Fuck Fuckboy himself. Um, that's going off of Arcane. Got to specify. That's it's canon. I know it's canon, <laughs> but it, let, let's. Let's uh, Arca also uh, other parts Arca of Arcane made me hate Jace so much. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't take a lot. It's not like you liked him in the first place. I know. It just made me hate him even more. <laughs> um, so he's... I, I don't... I really don't know what to do with him in regards... Because he's not necessarily like basic because he has like a whole thing of being, like, you know, like you said, being the poster boy of like you know the the hard work he's basically clark kent of like technology like he's just like super like oh there's always there's always a way like he's he's basically a boy scout like to the extreme and since piltover is like so gung-ho on like progress or whatever they're all hands on deck for him um mm -hmm. but that being that that being said he personality wise you know given what we uh were given from arcane it i don't see it going in any different when you're given when you're basically given everything you want with only like mild complications or you know pushback you really don't know what to do in a situation when everything goes left and we're so far left that you will never end up right in your lifetime. Like, so much shit was just busted. And it's like, depending on which way you go with it, you know, you, Victor is the re, like, 
Jace is the reason why Victor's the way he ends up. Singed is the way he ends up. And, you know, X Dev, War well, Warwick, Twitch, like, basically all of the mutated ones kind of have this weird thread back to Jace and his just, like, obsession with, like, Hextech. And so, especially going it, along the Arcane thing, because that whole debacle just sparked from that one incident and everything else just went to shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, everything that goes wrong at Piltover and Zon, it could be traced back to Jace, but also, obviously, Silco and the uh, Cam Barons. Well, yeah, but that... Which leads to Singe. <laughs> which leads to, like, leads to Singe, and the, that's like the the back end like the kim barons is just a product of the environment that's like when you're in a dystopian world someone's going to come to the power of and it's always going to be the ones who are willing to do whatever the fuck that needs to be done to have some lifestyle worth having and so that's just that but the reason why they end up being all out of whack is because you know hey you have something you're not supposed to have the people who aren't supposed to be here find it kaboom now everybody up top is down in the bottom messing up the works and now all the people who are in power down below are pissed and here we go everything's just gone to shit and then jinx is, is the poster child of crack chaos. crazy <laughs> not even chaos it's just crack crazy chaos would have been doing anything for the sake of doing anything she does things because she's just crazy she's not stable and she's not stable because all you know inhibitors and you know nuclear core dampeners for all intents and purposes that were in place left her so there's that <laughs> yeah how, how, how do you how do you it, it's it's basically uh how do you expect a dog to not go like running off of instinct if all of the things placed to keep them in one place are gone like no they're going to go they'll eventually come back but they're going to go <laughs> go war go and it's like go war pup go um so yeah jace was like and then you know speaking of war pup if we go along the lines of arcane it being the <laughs> that is highly unfortunate <laughs> yeah um and so that is oh <laughs> uh, yeah because yeah, his name was what vander, vander? yeah yeah because, yeah now that whole thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's the we're okay so for the people listening we're talking vaguely only because of the fact that a lot of the stuff that we're using for zon's lore comes from arcane which is a good show and we really don't want to ruin a lot of things for you so go watch it to get full context of what we're talking about um and it, it should still is this all on netflix uh it should be um so check it out if it's still on netflix and if not then i'm sure i'll come back around eventually um but i i feel like it should still be as well uh we got the huge wrap around that one we can watch that first So yeah, so any any semblance of Vander that may be left is all but gone at this point, and it's just kind of like a flash of memory, um, and you know instinct. Uh, but yeah, no, War 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 Pup was great. And yeah, when when they reworked uh, Warwick, like his like. Was a teaser trailer basically for his rework? That was terrifying. Just because it's like 
just going through like could you imagine going through like just the alleys of zon <laughs> and just hearing the howl of warwick no no i couldn't that would be freaking awful granted i hopefully i'm not you know in a s state where those howls are aimed at me it's just more of a oh god get me inside so i don't have to witness whatever murder is about to come <laughs> but get me out of here <laughs> but uh side story time oh of me playing warwick oh boy when i came back to leaf all those years ago which is ridiculous to say out loud <laughs> well, i mean to be fair when you rejoin league it wasn't as bad as it is now right but it, it was still years ago that's the thing like i've been playing cons quote unquote consistently for about three years now yes that's wild to say <laughs> um so it was when i came back obviously my account wasn't locked or whatnot and i was like "Ooh, let's play the wolf because obviously we know that Oot's uh, father is Night Wolf, so you know the the Night Wolf motif, the wolf motif, the raised by wolves, the live under you know, etc. Blah blah blah, right? Mm -hmm. So we're playing, you know, picking characters or whatever. It was like one of the three because I had Ziggs and whatever the other like main people were that they gave you. Then I had picked up uh, Warwick, and I was like, oh, let's play Warwick. It's simple enough, you know, pretty basic you know, outside thing. So I was like, oh, he's in the jungle. Now, for anyone who still doesn't know anything about Leaf, which would be surprising, but I'm not saying you're not out there, the thing about jungle is is that it's essentially the hardest place to learn. But also the nicest, because you can stay away from everyone. Uh, yeah, if you're an introvert, I guess. But you can stay away from everyone, but then you're also obligated slash expected to be everywhere. But that's aside. The thing is, jungle needs a specific summoner spell to be effective. It is the bread and butter of a jungler, and it is called smite, or smit, as I like to say when I get hit by it. Yes. Now, a mechanic of leveling up in League at least at that time, I don't know if it's still the same, is yeah, okay. you didn't get your sum all of your summoner spells until you hit a certain level. And yeah, think... Smite was one of the last ones you got. <laughs> well, I think you got Smite like at a level 5? Oh, no, it was way later than that. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Um, it was... It was I, it was definitely double digits. It was literally one of the last things you... I got Flash for, before I got Smite. It was, like, one of the last ones you got. And... Yeah. They didn't want anyone learning jungle. And, you know, Infernal, in his infinite wisdom... Hey, how's it going? ...didn't think it would be a good idea to see if I had the keystone... Of being a jungler. Because <laughs> he's like, ah, nah, play the wolf. You'll be fine. To so, be fair, we're, we're playing. I, I did not know. I have I had not been low level in quite some time. So I thought he had smite. But it's still... My bad. The, the login was... The, like, the, the loading screen was the same. You could see people summoner sparrows then, still. Ah, but that's if I was paying attention. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. Neither was the other four, like, other three people on our team. Yeah. So, for, like, I didn't know it was a, ne a necessity because I, I'm coming back. So, all for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty much new to League. I, hadn't, I didn't play Jungle when I was playing League in the beginning. So, I didn't fucking know. And... Things have completely changed since then. So it was a new game entirely. So you got a newbie playing jungle, which was flag number one on the play. Yeah. Two, didn't have smite because they didn't have access to it. So that was flag on the play number two. Uh, no one noticed on my team flag on the play number three. 
And so we're playing through. I'm trying to level level up, play through and whatever. I'm struggling. I'm cams are getting beaten me. And this is pre pet because pet's a recent thing. So I needed all the help, and spite was all the help I needed. So I'm going. I'm not going. It's not going well. I'm way behind the other jungler at level. I'm losing fights. This, that, and the third. It ain't going well, right? And then someone realized what was happening after they were being a dick. Um, because you know it's not league if someone's not being an asshole to you. Uh, unfortunately. And so after he was done being a dick, he realized I didn't have spite. And I was like, no, I do not. I am only X level. And he's like, well, that explains it. And I'm like, explains what? And he ex he then goes to explain, you need this to do the camps so that you can maintain your health and get stronger and take objectives and stuff. And I was like, oh, I see. And everyone is just sitting there looking dumb. Because at that moment, everyone realized that they weren't paying the fuck attention up yep. until this point. Which is also a Stanford League. <laughs> Which is also a Stanford League. <laughs> so, th this, was, this was my first uh, experience with, uh, with Warwick. And I didn't go back until I got Smite, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, remember guys, when playing League, you're basically on your own. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even when you have a five man, you're still on your own. You're still on your own. There's is oh my god. Sidebar. So um, one of the um, f uh, Twitch streamers that I follow, uh, someone in the chat today was saying that they're uh, they want to play League because of just how how they've like played it. They like you know how they've been watching them play and play the game this that and the other and it was so split because we all want to support the person and been like yeah you know do something you're you think you're gonna have fun in because you know you want to do something that's with this you know the streamer that you enjoy interacting with and whatnot and then you know whenever they do um games with the streamers you want to be a part of that you know you have your reasons for wanting to be a part of the game and then you had the other half which were like don't do it, do it fam <laughs> save yourself save yourself don't do it don't do it it's it's worth it to some extent but it's not worth it um and like so... it, like <laughs> if, if this was like league say god three but not only say three four years ago i would say yeah yeah like try it out see if you like it but days league no i i could not recommend it nah it is if you're if your goal because that's what i see a lot now it really is like one of two things you either have a goal for being high elo because you have the capability of doing it or you your goal is just to find and do the most ridiculously builds and just like yeah. troll and kind of in make fun for yourself but also just kind of ruin other people's experience as a side effect that's not see, like, particularly your intent, but you know that's going to be the result, and yeah, you really see, don't care. Like, that's why when it <laughs> comes to, like, that kind of situation where you want to play and, like, just literally just dick around, build whatever the hell you want, which it's also one thing I missed from, like, like God, like, season... Oh, uh, what season was that? End of season three, early season four of League. Like, at that stage, like, People were building whatever the hell they wanted. And, like, this went on for quite some time, but it wasn't until I would like to say close to 2020, probably like 2019, 2018, is when, like, the normal queue became a lot more serious. Like, people stopped having, stopped trying to have fun and just focus on the win, which to me is also one thing that has kind of, like, made league kind of hard for new people to come and play because it's like everyone's just trying to win no one's really trying to have fun anymore it's like if i understand wanting to win but it's like if you are going to have that kind of mentality go into ranked 
Like, if you are just focused on trying to win, yeah, go to ranked. But if you want to have fun or try out new things, go into norms. But, like, those playing norms, if, if you're listening, it's like, hey, if, I understand you want to win, but at the same time, it's like, norms is also the place where people go to practice or just to, like, not have to stress over, like, well, ranked. Because cause what was it? Because, like, AGS, like, asked, like, why it was it, like, a million point Teemo or something was in norms. It's like why? He's like, why are you here? Why aren't you ranked? It's like, probably because I just want to relax. <laughs> this is probably where he got the million points from, just being here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> Cause yeah, like, no. unfortunately, Teemo is not in a. Also, that's another thing that is just problematic with the game, and just also the care overall with the characters is that they they can't exist. And it, it's not even the meta. It's just they designed people to stop other champions from even being able to be played. So you have, like, this self-fueling cycle of, oh, you only see these specific champions because they're the only ones that stand a chance. Because yeah. you can't well, that Or they're champions that can just, like, one shot with, like, one item. Right. Or they're like, okay. but then again, but those are the ones who are keeping like the other things right. Like for example, my 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 bombastic boy, Ziggs. He is in such a middle ground; it's annoying. There, yeah. because there's no there's no oh if I'm doing well for myself, like if I'm getting decent farm, if I'm you know zoning people off of i'm helping with objectives or whatever i don't benefit from that i don't you know as zigs i don't get to scale for off of anything i don't have you know like uh with like vagar with just existing and hitting skill shots is increasing my power like i don't i don't get the bonus of um corky's abilities where once you get his ultimate you get that ranged ability that has you know the empowered version every so often and i i don't have like the bonus of like tristana where after you as time goes on you get higher you know you get longer uh attack range and you have the bonus uh like explosive damage just naturally you don't have that with ziggs and it's just like what the hell <laughs> like how did you literally build a war because ziggs was one of the early ones so how yeah. did you build this champion pool around basically around him where he can't do anything and it's like what the hell like come on like yeah he's a turret buster with his w but like i still have to be able to get to the turrets I can't be by myself and push a lane, per se. I can maintain a lane because I can displace. I can, you know, zone off. I can keep people from wanting to jump me. But then you have all of the assassins who can get in, take two tower shots, kill you, and then leave. And you're just like, so what's the point of the tower then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Please buff turrets. Like, if I can, like, I don't. I don't know. Um, w something hilarious, but obviously, like, you can't do it because the game can't handle it. I want lore accurate, or, like, more lore involving things, uh, like, certain champions. Like, it, like, Ziggs is an explosive expert. Like, he, like, he should have, like, a, pl uh, like, a passive that as time goes on he like his damage just gets increased because he's made better explosives over time like every mm -hmm. every time you die you come back you know he goes in the shop get these items whatever he's tweaking his equipment right hmm. um H hex modified uh rod like some like something like some like thing or it's like you have because it's like with like that's what you have with Timo. Like his passive is to his lore of him being a recon scout. He 
he's meant to not be found in certain situations. So him being able to go into the brush and disappear, that fits. You have, like, Scion, the Undying, the whole his whole shtick of just being, like, this unkillable machine or whatever. His passive was, like, as annoying as it is. Yeah. It, the fact and that... He is, and he is kind of unkillable some, most and, of these yeah, days. Yeah, so, and most of the times he just sings, but the, that aspect of his kit matching his lore, I like. Same with Warwick. Like, Warwick as an example. Blood Sins. That was his trailer. Him in, in the blood hunt going down hunting these criminals down you get to see that in game yes you don't want to be on the receiving end of a warwick smelling you from the other side and gaining speed but also that's a nice thing to have and so i i just feel like certain champions haven't gotten the same love as other ones and i don't even think it's about popularity that's a self-serving circle because you only like it so much because of how much time was put into it and then you like it and so more time's put into it to maintain it but you have like this lack of effort that's being put in early on like another zonite zeri super unique person everyone was like super gung-ho and like constantly like wanting to play her early on then they realized this bitch is busted as hell yeah, like, especially when they turned her to a bruiser. You give you give her an inch, it's over. There's no like there is there is hey punish for a mistake, and then there's punish for existing. Like the fuck, <laughs> <laughs> like hey here comes this street rat kid surfing over the wall, up, and now you're dead. All right, cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I, I love that for myself. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's a great thing. Um, but yeah, Zer- Zeri was another one that they didn't do shit with shit. Like, they didn't put any effort, really, into her. It, it's just like, she was just another Echo. Like, yeah. a someone who had a technological prowess, and they were just out here trying to exist. And that's it. That's all you got. Yeah. <laughs> crazy thing about because like echo like his lore is really good right after he hooks up with Jaime and he starts progressing in that way but while he's still in outside of arcane while he's still in zon he's just kind of well even in the thing he's just kind of meh <laughs> he's just a kid out here surviving and which is fine there's nothing wrong with that but like that's it there's nothing nothing else and then hilariously enough like apparently zig is just running out here busting shit up with jinx on you know killing sprees well not killing sprees destruction sprees and so, killing and maybe killing sprees <laughs> whoever's unfortunately involved in the uh carnage um i mean there's a lot of people in zone so you know. and built over yeah oh yeah there, there's a bunch of people in there um so let's see here uh oh okay of the all right who do you think was had better uh so off of arcane who do you think better had uh character development alongside the lore that they were given in game vi or caitlin Mm, a part of me wants to go with mm, I kind of want to say Caitlyn okay state your case well cause like uh, cause I don't know cause like before Arcane like Caitlyn to me just felt like kind of like a flat character mm-hmm. like not really much to her but with Arcane it's like they introduce more about like her family, her backstory, and like how Vi like pretty much influenced like in a way her way of thinking. Yeah, I could have done without the love interest. Um, 
Yeah, you know, you know they had to throw it in there. I, I know. It, it's just, I'm tired of that being a... Focus. M- not a focus, just a mechanic. A mechanic of, like, for, for anything. Just, I'm tired of, oh, like, I had, like, yes, obviously people come into your life and they change your way of thinking and if you spend a lot of time with them, it's inevitable, blah, 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 whatever, right? But I'm tired of it kind of like circumventing everything else that happened yes you can be like oh i never thought of it that way or saw it that way because i never needed to and you're forced to face a reality that exists in front of you and like you have to reshape your uh, your perception but like it shouldn't circumvent especially if you're an adult right it shouldn't circumvent your core right you can change you can adapt to like fit in your your space but like your core your core that doesn't change you can add to it you can you know enhance it but the the fundamental the fundamental piece that makes you who you are shouldn't change and i feel like that's what happened in arcane like their fundamental pieces changed because they met each other and i was just not here for it because Mm -hmm. you have so to further explain you have vi who is this older sibling so for anyone who has who is the older sibling or has an older sibling for the most part has the same mentality where it's you you have to be the one to keep the bad things away from your your sibling and then on the other side is typically you see that if your older sibling is kind of keeping the bad things away or if something bad and it doesn't have to be in an extreme case like something detrimental bad thing could just be like hey i fell off of the slide in the playground and now i'm crying or whatever right your your sibling huh, comes in ass. and your, your sibling comes around makes you feel better and everything goes away as if nothing happens right that kind of like I'm using, like, bad in very loose sense of, uh, of the word. And so, you know, you have that dy- – that's just, like, the dynamic because obviously, like, your parents protect you, this or whatever, but, like, they can't be with you all the time. Like, they have to go out. They have to go to work. They have to, you know, do all these things to support you, to give you a place to even be in the first place, right? So it's usually, like, that sibling, like, you and me against the world mentality. And that typically is what becomes, like, the core. Like, you have that need to protect anyone you see as your family or someone who is unable to do it for themselves. Borderline hero complex, but, you know, not as widely scoping, right? Mm -hmm. And then you, and so it's like, it was always that right and then you know shit happens in the show and mm. things change right shit happened and and so now but that that was still a part of her core like that was why there was so much conflict because it conflicted with her core it's that she's it conflicted trying, with her justice with the justice for all and you have like okay Demacia. all this stuff oh, happened <laughs> Demaglio. um <laughs> you have this part where it's like okay i want to you know protect the people i want to protect but the people i'm trying to protect are at risk because of someone i'm trying to protect now you're at odds with okay here comes that you know greater good problem do you you know deal with slash get rid of what's causing the problem for the betterment of the rest or do you do kind of like a weird juggling balancing act that ultimately rips you apart, but to still so that you don't feel like anyone's being betrayed or whatever. So, you know, you have that whole spiel or whatever. You hop over to Caitlyn, and like you said, before the show, really, it was just kind of like flat. Just you're one of the mill cop, right? Arcane mm-hmm. gives us a little bit more where it's that spoiled not spoiled rich kid per se but like the 
you don't know how bad things are. She doesn't really know how the world works. Right. You don't know how bad things are because bad things don't happen around you, right? So, again, so at her core, she's just a hard-working individual for her own personal goals, which is just, you know, being the best she can be or whatever. And then, you know, you have her being the I want to be, you know, detective, blah, 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 whatever. No one's taking me serious because of X, Y, and Z being the third of you don't know how the world works. You can't come in here with this optimistic viewpoint of the world and knowing not knowing that that's going to get you killed right yeah and so here we go shit happens and then you got these two meeting up right and it's not even conflicting viewpoints it's just a i'm i'm out here struggling in the worst scenario possible i literally live in the underground of a city um and then Miss High and Mighty Justice Wielder over here comes in looking for X, Y, and Z of people and expect me to just be all right with it kind of deal or whatever. And their and then like their whole relationship of like existing together is literally just Caitlin trying to prove to Vi that she isn't just someone who doesn't know how the world works. Which just feeds into the thing of you don't understand how this world works because you're still trying to force your will into changing the perception of someone who's literally been in the worst scenario possible due to where you come from. The fuck? But then they're like, they spend all this time together, blah, 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 like just as far. And now Vi's okay with her? Fuck out of here. Like, no, stop that. <laughs> Put that thing back where you found it. Plot armor. For those who listened to the other episode, and if you haven't listened to that episode, go listen to that other episode. But that's a plot armor problem right there. <laughs> was, it, it's a lot. But as we have deviated per usual as the land of <laughs> what we do in, uh, in the den here, uh, it is our time. So we thank you for joining us with this ride as it happens um check out the um page that we have uh in the description of the episodes for to check into greater details of the characters that we've played uh of we've played talked about slash mentioned um and all the other fun stuff because there's like video the music videos for like the intros of them their theme songs stuff like that there's a lot more things that we cannot possibly cover that is very interesting and worthy of exploration so go check that out um if you want to see and listen to the rest of the stuff that we have available drop that three dollars on us a month um become a subscriber that's all it takes you'll get all the stuff. at this point we're pushing 40 40 episodes total so give or take Give or, give or take so you got well over a month of, of episodes if you were to listen every day so that that seems like a good worth of uh three dollars spent and it just keeps counting because or two days if you really try it yeah if you if you put a stake into it it's only an hour or so so it's it's feasible but you know sometimes you don't want to listen to someone that long all the time sometimes you do that's why we have the content available to you um so, yeah especially when they're going gah, 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 gah. yeah you're like ah, but, ah, but um the random sounds and the random noises um so yeah we thank you for that thank you for all of the new people who've uh joined in for the followers uh he found his button again and <laughs> <laughs> um future note uh if you enjoy the episodes that we are doing with apollo um those are going to continue um Apollo, obviously uh for those who have listened up to this point and have co are completely caught up i'm you know personal friends with apollo so we have been supporting each other in our endeavors since we've met um so this is just something that's going to be happening now i think he did say that he's attempting to start his own um since consumed by tv is on hiatus right now due to issues with co-hosts and planning and life um that's life um so you know co-host is getting uh life together and whatnot so you know we wish him the best in that front 
And, uh, yeah, so don't forget the socials. Uh, hit us up on Instagram, on the Reddit, uh, the comments. Uh, review, leave a review, say with your chest, uh, whatever it may be. Five helps us, but, you know, any review also gets us out there more. Uh, we still are the top search, if you search us, I believe, on on Spotify. And I think we're starting to pop off on Apple, too, um, as well. So if you uh, are a part of the Apple pod- Podcast game, gang, thank you uh, for hanging out with us from there too um that one really I, now that i think about it that one really jumps because as soon as i made it available on apple podcast the the graph changed immediately with the audience like we went from spotify oh i i just checked apple apple has the higher percentage okay. there's more apple podcast listeners than there are spotify's so hey Go you guys. <laughs> wait, Spotify, wait to show Spotify, up. what are you doing? Um, yeah, hey, like how's it how's it how's it going? Uh so spread the word with your friends, family, everybody, and um oh that was just a month. That was just this month. Mm. Spotify picked up. All the time it's still Spotify, but we've been on Spotify okay. longer, so that that's <laughs> that, right. But that, you know, hey, they still they're still showing up in full force. Um so yeah. We're gonna get out of here, we're gonna stop talking to your uh see you on the next one. <laughs> And as we say, we're leaving. Uh, You're welcome to stay, but we won't be here anymore. Bye. Bye.